Hey guys and welcome back. I just wanted to make a quick video about web browser access logs. May we be talking about uh, Apache or Nginx, you know, they have an access log and you probably know whenever someone asks you like, hey, we're having some trouble here and we're trying to configure uh, one thing or another, which is failing. Could you please take a look on the access logs? Because it's a nightmare. They look like well, they're not easy to read. Let me just be honest with you, at least for me. I don't know. Maybe if you're in a niche for many years, you, you train your eye. But for me, it's very complicated. And what I wanted to show you today is a very small open source tool. I would more call it like utility that has only one task to visualize all of your access logs and show them in a very pretty way for free at no cost. And yes, 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 I know there are tools like uh, Grafana, Loki, or, or Greylog that specialize in aggregating the logs and potentially they could also do the, the similar thing, but they're different and they're meant for all sort of different variety of the logs, but GoAccess has only one basically task to analyze the, the web logs, the access logs, right? And let's go straight into computer. So you can see right away that the address is uh, goaccess.io and you can see that it is open source, which means that it is free. And the first thing that's right from the beginning, and I found out about this uh, tool a couple of years ago, it looks pretty and it's also very flexible actually so if you just want to play around and you're too lazy to spin up your virtual machine and and configure it i will show you how you can configure it to be honest uh, you can just go to the goaccess.io and click on the live demo and here you have all the all which you will be able to have in your like production or dev environment whatever my dog is attacking me come see she wants to eat me but okay nevertheless um this is what you will see like and and it looks like pretty you have like static request uh not found urls uh visitor host names and ips operating systems that are visiting time distribution browsers virtual hosts referred urls and and more and more and more even like geolocation isn't it great that you can actually see easily uh without um, going through the access log from which geolocations and you can also see like aggregated information because whenever you just read through the log you can see like okay this ip address is probably coming from the united states and this one is coming from europe and whatever but here you can see the data uh, which is accumulated in access log and what else like if, if we scroll up and go basically back uh, we can check about a feature so functionality is uh, I would say that it's pretty big for the tool of this size, like completely real time, which is also a great thing. Like you basically have a two options, whether you can run uh, a go access, like, hey, this is my static access log and go eat it and, and show me the report in, in the graphic user interface, or you can just use a go access and basically like tail the access log and say like, okay, whatever is gonna appear new, uh, in this log, I also want to show it in, in my report. Uh, nearby all web log formats, and you can also customize it. Like if you have some customized, you can basically adapt the Go Access uh, for uh, against your logs. Track application response time, minimal configuration needed. Actually, at least in my case, well, I again, spin it up uh, just for the sake of testing, because as I said, I'm going to show how, how you can set it up here. As you can see, I have my uh, CLI up and running. Um, it doesn't require any configuration. And installation way, uh, there are multiple ways how you can do that. You can compile from the sources, which I don't know why would you want to do. Uh, you can install from the packages. And of course, you can also run it as a Docker container. Uh, incremental log processing, uh, determined the amount of the hits visitors and bandwidth uh, metrics per virtual host color scheme is customizable custom customized you can customize the color scheme so it's pretty and it's helpful and uh, yeah like there's of course is an issues thread as as an open source and there are some things that are being fixed but the most important is that the product is like really uh, alive and uh, yeah as you can see like uh, the last last comments are uh, three days ago um files two weeks ago so it's very active it had like eighteen thousand something stars in a github 17.5 and uh i'm i'm sure it's gonna be beneficial for europe but 
let's stop talking let's just install it on my virtual machine and uh, if you want to set it up again uh, you can go to the download page and you will find all sort of different ways how you can uh, set it up in your environment like installation um, like configure from the sources again I don't see any reason why would you want to do that um, you can just get install go access on Ubuntu uh, Fedora yum install Arch Linux Gen 2 uh, OS X free BSD as you can see there's like huge amount of distributions where you can just yum install and the package but for me personally and especially like for the testing it might be a little bit different in in the production environment but at my home lab or whatever where I just want to test thing around docker has been like greatest thing and the greatest time saver and the greatest tool so far so basically like let's check what the command does like first of all we're feeding in the access log the one from which we're actually want to generate this uh let me open it here again uh this beautiful report right so we need to have an access log that's a mandatory thing and then we are piping the result in the docker and with the docker we're just starting the container uh go access uh, using the language environment variables and stuff like that uh output will be html and uh, here we are defining like where exactly um what will be the output and output will be the report.html file and uh, here's the other thing like this one is for static build like we have a uh, one access log we throw it on a go access it evaluates everything creates the html report file and here is your static report file the second one is for the real-time report as i previously mentioned like when you when you have the access log that is constantly changing and being populated with some values and you just want to have always accessible uh, report file from the go access based on this access log so in, in instead of cat we're just using the tail so we're constantly following through the access log and the port is 78.0 by default uh we need to add uh tag like real-time html so that it knows that it always have to populate it and again report.html but uh pay attention go access doesn't have like the the web engine web browser web engine yes uh, so uh, you need to be careful where you specify the output location of your report.html because uh well you basically have to uh, put it in in the place of your web browser which serves like the directory um, in, in my case, in my virtual machine, I already have a Zabbix installed in, and the front end files are available in the user share Zabbix. So I'm going to put uh, the report files in the user share Zabbix report.html. If you don't have a web engine, it's also not a huge issue because, uh, well, it might be a bit more problem with uh, a real-time report, but if you just want to create a static report, you can just uh, download it as a HTML file and just open as a single file in, in your browser, maybe Mozilla Chrome or whatever else. So let's try this. Um, I already actually have it uh, somewhere above. I will <clears throat> clean my history. So tail, and then we need to specify where do we have an access file, access log. And let's actually do it like this, like less uh, var log um, HTTPD access log. There we have an access log. As you can see, it looks uh, pretty crazy, especially if you need to troubleshoot something. And this is just a test Zabbix installation, which is being up and running for like 15 minutes uh, without any actual traffic on it. So the log is uh, very very small but it will good uh, it will be good enough for the demonstration and so we know where the where the access log is located then we need to do the um, the full path var log httpd access log uh, docker run uh, everything stays the same and then just uh, the place where i want to place my report.html and that is going to be in the user share zabbix slash report.html because remember you must put it in somewhere your uh, web browser can show the files click enter uh no such file or directory uh let me check ls var log httpd ah, ah, sorry access underscore log not access dot log 
Uh, so those small mistakes always make a difference. So let's change this. Uh, there we go, parsing and WebSocket server ready to accept new client connection, which basically means uh, uh, we're done. Like we can open our browser and fill in the IP address of my virtual machine slash Zabbix slash report.html. And there we go, we have a um, live, live report of the Go Access from the Access access log from my Apache, from my Zabbix installation uh, that I just show you in the console. And here you can see all the menu, like you can go straight to the operating systems, browsers, time distribution, static requests, and uh, whatever more. And one more thing, I, f I don't remember where I saw this, like ah, here in the configuration, like you can also change like how many panels you want to have in each of these widgets, like 10, uh, not enough, let's go 15. There you go. Now you have 15. And also, if you want to run these on some screens at your office, home, whatever, just show it to some people. Um, you can change the team to, let's say, dark purple. And this looks much better. You must agree. And the second thing that I really liked is the layout. Like if you have a white screen, uh, then this might be much better. If you have some vertical screens, then maybe this one will satisfy your eyes and, and your customers or visitors, whatever. If you're just running a basic monitor, and then I guess we're talking about a horizontal. So thank you guys for watching. As per usual, uh, click subscribe. Don't forget to press the like and comment in 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 the below this video while my dogs are trying to fight in a, in a second room. Um, those comments and likes are basically the primary thing how you can help this uh, channel grow. Come here, come here. That's hello. Uh, yeah. See you later in the next videos. Goodbye.